Okay, let me remember just get when this. you used to do three, two. Oh, one. I'm about to. I never stop. Oh well, I already pressed record. It's fine. It's my ritual. Three, two, okay. one, record. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, girl. Hey, welcome back to my weekly podcast, Taste of Taylor. I am Taylor. Joining me today, my bestie. It's been too long. Stassi Schroeder. Hey, girl. Hey. Wait, what the fuck? It really has been a long time since I went on your podcast. I know. I, I know. Oh, no. Maybe January when you were in town. I guess it's not that long. Yeah, but we still we missed an entire month. That's not fair. Yeah, no, I, I know. You, you do mine all a month. The t- you know what? I could. I could. Uh, I could maybe, I could uh, return the favesies. Oh, I could return the favesies. <laughs> well, now that we're both in the Dear Media family, bitch. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. Oh, yes. Yet another secret. <sighs> I know. I've held on to. I am a good secret keeper. Yeah, and you guys, I don't think actually think people even know that I've been with Dear Media secretly now yes. since like October. Literally. But I didn't want to do my my relaunch my refresher my revamping my rebranding I didn't want to do it until like I was I was over the hardest part of the postpartum hump I was like I'm not gonna like give birth and then like do a photo shoot and then like have the energy to fucking like no I need uh, mama needs time so I've been with Jeremy for a while now um I'm just here it is the new revamp (laughs) I'm I feel dead. free. I feel so free. I have literally like Taylor, the way you know, we've talked about this so much. The way oh, yeah. I was like, I'm so over my podcast. Like I bore myself. Yeah. I bore <laughs> myself. With, with Something needs to change. With the exception of, of pop culture. Pop culture hour. Hour. With me, yeah. Obviously. You, we're still gonna do that. I don't yes. even know if we'll call it pop culture hour because I just don't need it to be so fucking serious. So I'm not formal. curing diseases. I'm just talking into a microphone about dumb shit, okay? It doesn't need to be formal. Doesn't need to be so structured. Yep. But yeah, no, I feel fucking great. I'm so excited. Like just getting back to this like stream of consciousness and just, you know, yes. just like messy unhingedness. Yes, because yes. like you know, there's just this vibe of like all of there's so many podcasts out there, and we're all interviewing the same guests, Literally. doing the same thing, yeah. and like, do people care if they do? Great, but right. like, I need to do what I want to do. Exactly. People care about what other people are passionate about. To quote La La Land, and you are passionate about you myself, and I am passionate about me, and that's why yeah. we are best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Because we so, understand deep rooted narcissism. Yeah. It's truly what makes us good at what we do. I remember when I was at Sirius. Have I ever mentioned that I worked there? <laughs> <laughs> My biggest fear is someday everybody's going to go over there and I'm going to feel like I'm on an island. Bye. Like, <laughs> Bye. So I was at Sirius and I worked with Kenny, my producer, but I also worked with this woman named and she was my quote unquote news girl. Okay. But. Uh-huh was smarter than me she read more than me she knew everything more than me and allegedly in my opinion like she was she was there to take me down okay she wanted her own show and so she did is this a real person that we're talking talking about yeah but we were on the air it's not like a secret maybe we'll believe her name okay but it's not that Uh, hard to figure out who she is (laughs) this 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 wow this just felt very okay that's why I said alleged in my opinion okay no but you just like you you didn't even hesitate to name the name she allegedly tried to get me fired every time I was on vacation it was like this show is so much better without Taylor called wake up with Taylor okay 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 Okay. right 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 so I remember thinking I can read all the books I can read every news story under the sun but she's honestly just smarter than me Mm -hmm. if if I'm nothing I'm nothing if not self-aware okay she knows her weaknesses and so I said you know what what's the one thing this bitch doesn't know more than me and I said, me. So yes. I started to just tell stories Focus. about me, 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 me. And yes, it's the one thing you can't take from us. And it's the one thing that you can't replicate. Right. You yes. can't replicate. So in this industry, in, in a lot of industries, yeah. when there are so many people doing the same sort of things, you have to fit, you have to dig deep down and say, what is it that I offer and I alone offer yes. and that is just me my thoughts my life the things that I love that's that's it that's yes. the only thing that sets me apart from any everybody else being completely self-absorbed that's our yes. brand <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. and I really love that for us and I'm so yeah. excited you're getting back to your roots and the fact that it's with Dear Media the way Dear Media yeah, but- I want 10% of all these deals because <laughs> the way I 
I ride for you guys. I really do. And it's genuine. I love the company. I've been here now. Tay, how long have I been with Dear Media? Fuck. Five years? A while. Five I years, love them. I like. I'm not an OG, but I'm not a, I'm a, I'm not not an OG. And you so know, I'm just saying. It feels like? Welcome to the It feels fam. like we're like part of the same Hogwarts house. Like literally. I'm a like, Hufflepuff. Like, you are. I'm a Ravenclaw, but it feels like we're both Slytherin. You know, and we get know. to like hang out together, be part of the same crew, do the same, you know, like D don't know a word you said, but totally. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is Slytherin cool? Slytherin, they're they're the evil ones, but I was trying to give us an edge. Got you. Just cool. now. Good. Amazing. You know, they're not all evil. Like, I, I just need, I, you know, Harry Potter fans, don't come for me. OK, <laughs> like I know they're like not all evil. They're still like good people in Slytherin. They're just um, they're they're very ambitious. They will do anything to get what they want. They're smart. Okay. They're cunning. Love. You know, that's the, it, the, the snake is their representation. You know, and like that's their 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 little thing and like the Hufflepuffs like Mr. Potato Head is our mascot like Hufflepuff feels very losery and I no, they're a good time uh -huh. Hufflepuffs are a good time okay and what about that's Ravenclaws how, that, in my opinion that's why Ravenclaws are are, are intelligent mm. and thoughtful <laughs> lame honestly and what's the other one Gryffindor no one wants to be that right no that's what everybody wants to be why because it's like the best one they're courageous and brave and stand up for what's right oh who has time who wants to be hashtag brave what an exhausting it's existence is in 100 Bo's like so proud that he's a Gryffindor and I was just like you know what I kind of think it's lame <laughs> I think it's lame uh. well I'm so excited you're here and I'm so excited that we can talk about it I really have to I really do I am a good secret keeper. And you know, yeah, 100%. It's, been a, it's been an insecurity of mine forever. Not because I tell secrets, but because I get scared. That I just talk so much for a living that I'm worried. You forget. I'm worried I that this, sometimes I, I say stuff. Yes, that I don't mean to say. And it, it makes me, yeah. I'm, I'm in a full, full, full blown panic all the time. So every time one of your, you know, and they're never bad secrets. And there's still so many secrets you're holding for me. <laughs> Not bad ones. <laughs> There's just, I just realized that like you're full of my secrets. <laughs> yeah, her <laughs> hair is full of Stassi secrets. Truly. <laughs> I know. Wow. I know. I hope I'm a real, I, I, I hope you The cross you carry. <laughs> the cross you carry for me. Really? She's exhausted. And the way that people also just ask me like, fr like heads up, I'm, I'm also a, terrible liar so if you are mm. bold and brazen enough to ask me the secret or like if you think yeah. like i'm fucked like do you know i've had to bold face lie to people i remember so and your secrets aren't the only secret i've had to keep claudia's secrets so when claudia yeah. was on ozempic she didn't talk about yeah. it for a year which was her fucking right you know what i mean but yeah. we were in that like um what's her i'm looking for it was like uh just like ozempic hunters. everyone's witch hunt it was like the it was the ozempic witch hunt it was it, and it was a weird time it, it was, was a weird time. weird time so i remember i was with somebody who now i'm also like i'm gonna keep that secret for them but okay. i was i was hanging out with somebody and they point motherfucking blank like looked at me and they were like so is claudia on it and i was like and I didn't know what to say. What did you What did you say? How'd you do it? How'd I was you work like, around it? I go, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I go, I don't know. And this person was like, motherfucking bullshit, you don't know. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. Let me out of it. If I see I don't know, leave me alone. So okay, I was so like, basically you confirmed it. <laughs> but I said, I don't know. And then this person said, then I felt like, though, I'm like, I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to lie to this person, like yeah. full on because like they're pushing me. And I was like, I mean, one would make assumptions, but I don't ask people questions about their medical health. That was your answer? <laughs> that was my, oh my God. Answer. You don't ask your best friend about her. You're that you gave it away. That was the worst. Lo that was the worst excuse. Actually, <laughs> I actually can't think of a worse response. Now, are you scared to tell me your secrets? <laughs> what should I say? What would you do in that situation? Um. If someone asked me, if you, okay, so so you, you've been open about being on Ozempic. Let's say you weren't. Right. If somebody asked me, um, I would have been like, no, she would have told me that if she was. Wow, real, you really, really lie. 
to to protect you. And the right. thing is, is I'm a horrible liar. <laughs> Bo literally makes fun of me all the time. But to protect someone else, you have to give. It I your can all. fucking do it. What? I have to commit and be direct. And and I don't. I I think the reason why I'm bad at lying is because it makes me feel icky. But if I'm lying on behalf of somebody else, yes. I don't feel like I'm being icky. So I can fucking do it. Like I can commit. I mean, I did it. I, I went to HIPAA, okay? I worked at my dad's medical office for years. I was like, HIPAA violation. HIPAA violation. Yeah, I was like, no, I don't ask people questions like that. So I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they are. But I don't know because I don't ask questions like that. And then okay. when it came out, I mean, the person, I will say, when it did, when she did like come out about it, and I did see the person shortly thereafter, they didn't even bring it up. Like, they didn't say like, you lied to me. They were just yeah. like, they let it go. So I appreciated that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was, it was, it was all good. Both show. But man, but no, but there's sometimes where people ask me questions about you and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And then you like, it, it's announced and then people get mad at me. Like, they're like, I can't believe you would lie to me. I'm like, I can't believe you would put me in this position. Yeah. For you know? sure. You know, people are annoying. Can yeah. everyone just like, you know, just, no. Because like, I like to dig too. So, you know, I'm <laughs> annoying too. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it all. I just need to get better at lying. Yeah. Yeah, you I do. should just play possum and just like fall on the ground <laughs> for time having a medical emergency. I need to give you a list of quotes of okay. things to memorize, please, for certain questions that people ask you. Oh, I would love that. Actually, that'd be quite helpful. That would be. I think that would be helpful. For I could you. get some cliff notes as yeah. to how to navigate these troubled waters. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Thank you so much. Well, I'm just Welcome. so excited we can shout it from the rooftop. Welcome to the sorority. It feels like a sorority, kind of like. I you know, like I, you I was never like a sor- sit with us. I was never a sorority girl. Um, did I, have, did I ever tell you that story? Please tell. I feel like oh it's God. in the recesses of my brain, but like, go ahead. You know, she loves a repeat. When I was at Loyola Marymount, I I had two girl roommates. They were both in the same sorority, and they were like, "Everyone wants you in our sorority. Like, you have to be in our sorority." And I was like, "No," and I'm not rushing. I'm not doing that. I'm not like gonna like go and audition and prove myself and let other girls judge whether I'm cool enough. You're out of your fucking mind if you think <laughs> I'm going to do that. And they're like, no, we already got it okayed that like you don't have to rush. All you have to do is come to this barbecue that they're throwing so you can meet everyone and then like you'll be in. And I'm like, you don't have to audition. I'm like, okay. I was like, I, all right, I guess. So I go to this barbecue. There's no alcohol. Ugh. People are decorating fucking cookies. Ugh. Someone comes up to me and starts asking me about like my dad and like what he does for a living. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Did Fuck you off say, you with your that? dumb sorority. I'm not soberly decorating cookies and answering questions about my parents' <laughs> careers <laughs> for you. Thank you for this opportunity and, and allowing me not to go through the whole rush thing. But like, I don't want it. Like, I don't want to be a part of something where, like, you guys judge whether, like, I'm cool enough to be here. So, like, we left yes. and went to a bar. So, okay, fine. We're not a, we're not a sorority, okay? We're the mafia. <laughs> yes. Appealing to your sensibilities. You. You're correct. Thank You're welcome. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Um. So, wait. A couple things. So, A, it's just called Stassi. Stassi. Loves it. This This is why. Because, I, like, I view it, it's like, it's like, I view it as an extension of myself. You know, the way we have Instagram, our social media, and it's just our names, our, mm-hmm. our handles. My podcast, it's just another extension of me. It's another, almost like, it's another Instagram. So just fucking, it's just Stassi. It doesn't need a kitschy name. It doesn't yeah. like, you know, I'm over that. And Man. also like no one's done it before. So Not you leaving me here alone with Taste of Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> You've betrayed me. I'm telling all your secrets. Oh my God, fucking taste of Taylor. The way, dear me at this point, it's like, change it, please, whatever you want to do, please. Um, but I'm a puss and I'm scared. But well, speaking of which, so I need your help. So, cause you really, you are the queen of photo shoots. So much versatility. Sometimes it's just so simple and straightforward. Other times you're like fucking in Versailles. Like you really, the, the way you do you. a photo shoot is unparalleled. And so I need your help because my artwork is, 15,000 years old 
Yes, and I would be happy to help because one of my favorite things is to creative direct. That's why that's I hate the photo shoot part where we have to take the photos, mm -hmm. but I fucking love the putting together of what the theme and vibe and look and aesthetic is going to be for a photo shoot. Okay. It is maybe like it, it brings me so much joy, the same amount of joy that I feel like when I watch like Downton Abbey. It's like that joy equal equal, okay? So I would be honored thrilled ecstatic over the moon to help creative direct maybe your new artwork you know what maybe we'll just like schedule it for unraveling it. rich woman oh my god what would that look like it's so fabulous yes that's yeah. the brand unraveling rich woman it has to give that energy but not be so obvious and cheesy we don't need like we don't need props and shit we can find a way to do it in a way that's classy and chic I do want a cigarette. And modern. I want cigarette and I want like really dark mascara under my eyes. Because you know that's actually on brand for me. I always have mascara under my fucking eyes. So you want to be campy? I do want to be campy. Okay. All right. Ooh. If you want to be campy, then then we'll we'll be campy. Then we can lean in. I want to do full on fucking ballroom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Should we shoot it out in LA? Or can you remotely curate? I think this would just be like a really wonderful excuse for you. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that, to but for real. LA. Well, because I feel like like I need you on set. Like, yeah, one hundred percent. And no, like absolutely. Listen, these things take 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 a little bit of time. So like, yeah, you're gonna come to LA, and we're gonna do okay. it in LA. And you like know who the photographer will be and the space and well, style. We can figure you, all of that out. I mean, I'm used to just going on ASOS.com and pulling my own looks. No. no, that's but ASOS, ASOS is fine. Like oh. I literally for my artwork today for my new podcast, I literally just quickly got my jeans and a button down. Like that was the that, easiest part. That was the easiest. Yeah. The no, we, we'll do this. We'll do this. I you just, just have to start. You can't even think about those specifics yet because we need to make the mood board first. Okay. Okay. Who taught you to, this? I just instinctively have always known. It's called it's it's just my inner wisdom that I was born with. <laughs> it's called talent. Did you pick up these skills when you were um, pretending to be a party a party planner? planner? <laughs> the way that I convinced myself I was a party planner on Vanderpump Rules, oh, I, like, I, did. yeah, I, I didn't did. think of it as like I'm pretending. I convinced myself I was a party planner. <laughs> what a time to be alive! Oh, we can even do like a Patreon video. Oh, I, now I'm now everything's fire. Now I'm excited about it. I've been dreading yes. it because I'm like, what do I even do? I'm like, I'm going to end up wearing like a Marie Antoinette dress with cigars in my hand because I'm just going to copy from my best friends. No, we're not. We're, we're, we're no, no, it's an N-O. Um, do, are we going to change your name? We're going to change it, right? <sighs> we could. We're changing it. We could. We could. We could totally do a revamp. We've discussed Taylor, it. I, I don't think Taste of Taylor needs to be Taste of Taylor anymore. I know. I'm with you. I think there there is a name there. I told and I know you. you remember thought, when yes. we, we and went I on really a rich, like mo it. rich Mom Walk? You really do like it? Yes, I really do like it. And so I, I just think that it's time. It's time. Let's work okay. on it. Okay. And done. Speaking of <clears throat> that video, that trailer, if you will, the right. release that you did with your media was, I mean, give the woman an Emmy. It's Wait, no, so can, good. Can can I just say though, please, dear media came up with that idea. It that brilliant. And then and I, I they brought it to me and I was like, that is such a fucking great idea. And they're like, okay, what props do you want to string? I'm like, no, I have to bring the props. I'm like, I, I have to bring my things. The headphones. I have to make. I really didn't realize how iconic and legendary your headphones are. Like the and second like, I was literally like, nine years old. <laughs> Those fucking blue, like <laughs> shaped like some weird sort of like octagon. I like <laughs> refuse to get new ones, and everyone makes fun of me. Like people who know about audio yeah. are like, yeah. "You're a loser. You're a loser for your headphones." And I just can't. I can't get rid of them. No, it's, they're they're a part of who I am. They're like made by like Tonka toys. They're like, I don't insane. even know they're if like the company pretend. is like open anymore. <laughs> they are, it's like pretend. I don't think this company exists. It's, it was just so good. What was that? Um, What was that glass thing that you had? That like, my, it looked like an award. My obelisk, obelisk. I had, how do you have to say that word? O-B-E-L-I-S-K. Oblique. No. Anyway, I have one in my living room 
And it's just like a part of my, it's always a part of my living room. It's in my living room on my coffee table. And I have another one. So it just felt right to bring a little bit of my home in. And your rosé and your fucking wallpaper. I died. (laughs) My Harry Potter wand. Oh, right. My Harry Potter wand. Uh Uh-huh. It was really good. I I literally had full body chills. And I knew it was coming. (laughs) I was like, I'm shocked. That's how good it was. It made me forget that I knew. And I was surprised. Thanks. That's great. Uh, Well, I'm so psyched about it. So congrats and welcome. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Having like just all my faves people around me. It makes me so happy. I know. No, that's that's always the best vibe. Like if you can find a way to live while working with your friends and the people mm-hmm. you love most yes. that, then you have life figured out you have won yeah you've won it's so true it's so true wait so we're winning but we're also losing I have a crazy story I have to tell you because I just need you okay. to help me I don't know emotionally unpack it I feel very uncomfortable yeah. but I also okay. know that something happened to you that was emotionally traumatic as well mm-hmm. yeah and physically hurtful mm-hmm. Physically hurtful, but I also I, I I broke the law. I was a rebel. What did you do? I had a I had I had a crazy day last week. You go first. Okay. <clears throat> so we are babysitting Allie, my sister in law's dog, Brinkley. Mm-hmm. We die for always. Him. I feel like y'all always are. We are. So <clears throat> you know, as you know, we don't have walls in our apartment. We have mm-hmm. a door that goes to the laundry room, but it's very big. It used to be my office. And then we have a bathroom door, two bathroom doors. Those are the only like rooms with doors that exist. Our bedroom has curtains that close it. Okay. Right. And the dog does have like a crate that he sleeps in and we put it in the laundry room, but we like don't close the door. Did the dog fall off the thing? We don't know. We don't close the door. We don't close his, his crate door because it gives him anxiety. And we don't like close the door to the laundry room because that's abusive. That's negligence. Okay. So right. we just like we just let him like free flow, but he's very well trained and he like never really leaves his cage or his crate. So <clears throat> Tay and I, you know what? I've been watching Couple to Thruple. And <laughs> it's a show about people who want On to what? go from being in a two person relationship to like inviting a third. Why the f- you out of all people girl i know i started Miss watching when we were in st bart's i know why would you ever put something so triggering on i think i'm so i think i'm so fascinated by it because it's like so outside the parameters of anything i would be interested in like i'm like i'm like who are these people what like makes them tick and it's wild because like i start off being like everybody here is whacked out of their mind and I actually really like the majority of, of like the couples that came in. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I love them. Oh my God, yes, let's get dinner, drinks. But, and even the singles, there's amazing singles. There's some iffy people, but the majority of the people like I actually like. So I've been committed to it. But like something my takeaway from it is not that I want a threesome, okay? Way too jealous for that. My takeaway is that I'm like, it's very important <clears throat> to be like, like, ro- like, I think in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm so happy Tay doesn't want to have a threesome or be in a throuple. I really should try to have more sex with her. Oh, when I, I do my duties, you're, my wifely duties as much as I possibly can, because I know I am, I'm, I feel very lucky that I have a husband that yes. is, that treats me so well and yes. that aligns with everything that I M, do you know what yes. I mean? So like I, yes. even if I don't, am not in the mood, I have to make the effort. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I like, I love my wife so much. So like if I have to like start trying harder, I'm going to do yes. that, you know? Because at yeah. least she hasn't asked me to be in a throuple. Yeah. And I really don't want her to anytime soon. So we, how does this have to do with a dog? Correct. So <laughs> the first day that like this, this past weekend, it was Saturday. And so we were like, we're in the mood. Let's do it. He was in the bedroom. And so we were like, what's protocol? Like, do we bring him downstairs and lock him in a room? That feels really abusive. So we were he, like. He's a dog. He's fine being locked in a room for a little while. Well, we, That's we not him, abusive. Well, we brought him downstairs and then we like got romantic. You know, I can't talk about sex, right? It like freaks me out. Yes. Yeah, so, but then he like found his way into the room, but he was like not on the bed. He was just like in the room. Okay, so we were like, and he was quite polite. Like he looked away. Like he he understands the assignment. Okay, yeah. Okay, and it just seemed it seemed fine. So then the next day we were like, 
we should do it again, right? But this right. time he was in the room, but it's like, oh, we're going to walk him down just for him to come back up to the room. Like, give me a break, whatever. So we're doing it. You, okay. And then. I just need to tell you right here. Like, <laughs> it's not abusive to lock your dog in a, in a room for a little while. Wait, so our, like. It's, it's is not. Is this a faux pas that we committed by letting the dog be in the room? Is that, like, sick? No, a lot. I, 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 so I, we, I don't do that. Like, Bo literally will make sure like refund refunds normally the one that wants to be in the room that refunds outside of the room and will shut the door yes um but i i know lots of couples that like don't give a shit like their little dog could be on the bed with them they don't care like right. like well and luda would be fine because luda doesn't know what the fuck is going on i just still don't want another and i don't need another energy in the room that just like kind of fucking weirds me out whether it's like a dog or you, i'm surprised i allow the plants in my room to remain <laughs> you know like i just don't want anything else there so um, we're getting it on the second day and he jumps up on the bed and I'm like, oh God. And then all of a sudden I hear like, <laughs> and I'm like oh my God, he is humping. He's joining <laughs> couple of throuple. You're lying. He's joining. Wait, wait. You're lying. So I went, Tay, Tay, Tay. What was he humping? Okay, so I thought he was like right by Tay's head, either humping her head. That is your blood relative incest. Or I thought that maybe he was humping a pillow. Yeah. And I went, oh my God, Tay, Tay, look behind you. And she like, she like turned around and we both looked over and he was vomiting all over the fucking pillows. This dog because is you so guys homophobic. Grossed, you grossed him out. You grossed him out. Barfing everywhere. No. Jossie, I literally fell off the bed. And luckily, the bed's like very Taylor. low to the ground. But I literally, no. it was the most traumatic experience oh. of my entire life. I'm The way my self-esteem would hit rock bottom, <laughs> I would really doubt my own sexiness. Girl, I do would, you know? I, I already think I'm bad at sex. And I don't need this dog to fucking confirm it. He's like... You're so gross having sex. I'm literally vomiting all over your bed. So oh anyway, God. yeah. So we're probably not going to have sex anymore. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't wait to tell Bo that story. <laughs> it oh, was wow. genuinely yeah. horrific. So that's how I've been doing. I got microneedled and lasered last week. Okay, so I have to do it three times. Okay, once a month, this, three times. First of all, you didn't even call me to consult me. As I, I didn't even co-sign this. What? Where did this whole thing even start from? Um, I went to go get Botox a couple months ago because Hartford looked at my forehead and said, "Mommy, ouchies." Oh no! <laughs> and I, oh, that was caught on fucking camera. I was like, I, I, I couldn't even believe it. Um, so I went and got Botox, and while I was there, I asked my doctor. I was like, I feel like I'm getting jowls, <laughs> you know? Oh, my fear too. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm getting jowls, and he's like, "Well, you're not," and, and he's like, "And also, like, even if you are, you are way too young for a facelift." And I was like, "I wouldn't want a face. I'm not like one day, but like, yeah, no, not that's now. not like right. I didn't realize that's how you get rid of it." He's like, "No, like, what you need is like, um, I'm doing cell firm X is what it's called and CO two. So he's like, it's these, it's microneedling and lasers, and so it produces collagen. It starts producing collagen again." Oh, which is, so it tightens. Know. It's like it tightens your face, takes years off your face, like that sort of thing. OK. Love. OK. But you have to do it three times, once a month, three times. And the recovery is fucking insane. Like when I tell you, like the next day I look like Jabba the Hutt <laughs> from Star Wars. Like my face is disfigured. No. Like like the hills have eyes. Like no. a, a, one <laughs> no. of the monsters from the hills have eyes. Like I look I'm so weirdly like swollen in weird places and bright fucking red blotchy like it's I'm so ugly <laughs> like I cannot be seen okay what does Hartford say about it oh she uh, funny you should say that because she said mommy ouchie can you take ouchie off I went to go pick her up from school yesterday um yeah. and in front of her teacher she goes you took the ouchie off and I was like no, I just put on makeup and I looked at the teacher and I was just like, I, I had, I had, 
I had shit done. It's like, I, I'm like, do they think Bo beats me? Like, oh why? Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, my like, God. I didn't I'm think like, that. she's telling her teachers that mommy has ouchies on her face. You know? Hartford. Hartford. Like, fuck. Wait, by the way, when she had her sunglasses on the other day, I was like, you, if you telling her don't drop them in the water, you might as well be saying, I know. Go drop them in the water. I thought, that, I thought about that after. I thought about that after, but I took them from her. So it, it was fine. Okay. So um, I knew that it, I was going to look disgusting again because like I did it last month but this is the thing so the day after the micro needling we were told ahead of time we needed to evacuate our house like my street we had to evacuate our street from 8 30 in the morning to the afternoon because they were replacing the power poles telephone poles we live in the hills so like they have to do it via helicopters like oh helicopters God. swarming everywhere so i guess the fear is like a helicopter could drop it in your house and you die do you know what okay. i mean that's a pretty strong fear Right. Reasonable. Okay. So yes, but that's the day after my microneedling. <laughs> I can't be seen. So I literally was like, "What am I gonna do?" A week straight, I'm like, "What am I gonna fucking do? Do I go and check into a hotel? No, because I can't be seen. I can't right. go into the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go check in. You know, I'm like, I can't actually like. Do I like go over to one of my friends' houses? I don't want to be seen. Exactly. Even by a fucking friend, I don't want to. I don't want to have to walk to my car. To get in the car to drive to with friends, even if like I'll let my friends see me, okay? I, that the car is too risky. I People agree. seeing me through the window, it's too risky. So <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna break. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna be a rebel, and I am. I'm gonna make sure my kids and my family are safe. I was like Sonia, her nanny. I was like, you can take Messer to your house. Hartford Bo, you take Hartford to school, and I'm gonna hold down the fucking fort here. And if the police come and drag, knock, and like drag me out by my hair <laughs> with my fucking weird they ass won't. face. They'll be like, it's a creature. <laughs> it's a creature. So I'm literally like, I told some people that this was my plan. And they couldn't, they were like shocked. They literally acted like I was breaking the law. So I'm like, am I breaking the law? <laughs> like, like by staying in the house when like we've been required to evacuate. And like, I really was getting in my head and I was just like, fuck it, it I, I will risk it. So I spent the whole day, like I, I said them goodbye and I went downstairs, pulled all the curtains closed, <laughs> hid. It sounded like war was going on outside my no. house, nothing but helicopters the whole time. I had like downloaded like books on my Kindle, shows on my iPad, just in case I'm assuming the power was gonna go off. I was gonna be like, right. you know, ca like camping in the wild, figuring out how to survive, <laughs> you know? Uh, when I had to what eat. What snacks did you bring? So uh, funny you should ask. <laughs> I, I made sure this big thing was full of water. Good. I made some toast because it was early in the morning. I don't like eating big stuff in the morning. So I was I like, know. it's early in the morning. And so I made some toast. I crept downstairs. I stayed there, hid with the curtains closed. And then finally my, I ran out of water. And I'm like, oh, no, I have to go back upstairs. And so I crawled. <laughs> I crawled. Like the beast. Upstairs. If you could have seen me with my fugly face. <laughs> In like my fugly, dirty sweatpants and sweatshirt, crawling throughout my house Ugh. so that the people couldn't see me see through you the and windows. See you and make you evacuate. And make me evacuate just so I could get some <laughs> H2O. Uh. No, but like that, that was my day. And I felt like after it was over, I was like, I survived something. Oh you know, God. like I, I went against, I went against authority. Yeah. I no, sat in my fugliness. I crawled around my house like a real beast. <laughs> and I survived it all. And everything was fine. Hashtag brave. Hashtag brave. <laughs> Wait. So, but is the microneedling worth it? I've been kind of wanting to do it. So this is the thing. My skin is really, really soft right now. Now okay. that it's like, you know, crusted all off for the last seven days. But you're not supposed to see actual like tightening results for two months so I'm still like a month away from seeing me looking like Hartford's older sister okay I'm gonna use you as my guinea pig because yeah, for I, sure I'll let you know if it's worth it yeah because you know I was like on the forefront of Botox I was not on the forefront but I was not that far behind the start of the Zemp life so mm -hmm. I'm full-on ass leaning in to all of these things because okay. if you, the earlier you started I believe 
the less you have to do down the road. You know what I mean? That, I, I think so too. Preventative. Preventative. Hell yes. I fully believe in that theory. And I also, I want to be an injectable queen. I, I, I don't want to have to go under the knife if I don't have to. So I'm going to yeah. try to do this. I agree. I agree. So I will, I will keep you updated on whether I think it's worth it or not. Please scale from one to 10. How much does it hurt? Um, so I numbed you do I went in early to like sit like extra early to like sit in numbing cream yes which like it's so crazy that like as a mom I was excited to go sit in the office for two hours with numbing cream on my face just because like I got a break you know man wait wait to really like, encourage me to be a mother no, but it's like, and I, I, I do get breaks. Like, you know, I have a nanny and Hartford is in school. Like I, I have help, but I mean a break as in like, I can't, I, I can't work. Yeah. I can't like do things like it's my, it's, it was two hours of my life that I could literally like not have to think about anything. I could just, just like sit in the chair and just numb sit away. Sit in the chair. Yeah. And I just like brought my iPad and like watched a show. What You show? know what I mean? It was nothing you like. It was like a BBC like masterpiece, like period girl, piece show. Girl, it was called Dark Angel. In case anyone's interested, from no 2017, one, not the no Jessica one's, Alba one. No one's interested. <laughs> Ever. Anyway, um, uh, but yeah, so I, I numbed my face so much that like while I'm getting it done, mm -hmm. yeah, it kind of hurts, but but also even the person doing it, she's like, you have the highest pain tolerance of almost anyone I've ever met, and I'm oh like, my God. that's because my last birth was so was so difficult was so painful i was like that i i truly believe that's why oh. like really i can fucking handle anything you can. um i don't flinch she's like you don't flinch she's like i most people have to take a break every five minutes and i'm no. like even after the numbing and she's like yes and she's like you're not even flinching and i'm like i am a superhero <laughs> speaking of how is my it hurts baby? after though sorry it okay, hurts, it hurts after. after like what like yeah. like advil hurt like the or worst like, like the worst sunburn you've ever felt in your whole entire life for how long? To me, it was like 24 hours. Okay. But worth it. Beauty is pain, bitch. Beauty is pain. Um, how's my baby? How are both my babies? Hartford is great. When I tell you that Messer is the happiest, smiliest baby I can tell I've just actually videos. ever seen. Like it's 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 truly unreal that like anything can make him smile. He smiles all day long oh it's so God. sweet I'm so glad I talked about this like I talked with Bo about this like on our podcast like we're so glad that we had Hartford first because Hartford was harder was so yes. much harder yes and I was like, just gonna say that like now it's like wow this is nothing mess are, like mess are so easy I mean he's right. been waking up at 5 30 in the morning which like is not ideal so sometimes I only get like five to six hours of sleep but if that's the worst of it then like I'll take it I'm winning yeah. yeah, it is. I mean, imagine if you, yeah, imagine if you have like a really easy baby first. It's it's like false advertising. And false then advertising. you have a tough one. You're like, what you're the like, what fuck? Did... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, man. Babies, you know? Yeah. Oh, over I know. here. Babies. I, I know. I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm just for us waiting for, to go? for you. Yeah. The and fact that stop. Lala got ahead of you guys. I know. When you're I the was... one, you got, you guys are the ones that like had did it all. And we're like, here, Lala, yeah. here's the information on Lala, how to like, go about doing it. And reached she's, out to us. It's like, she, like so it, what do you do? What are the steps? Like you guys are the experts and now she's pregnant and we still have yet to do that transfer. Well, yeah. we're just too busy going to the Ritz and staying in your hotel room. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah. No, how too are busy you? going to St. Bart's you... and going to the Ritz Carls. No, fuck off. Have I know. Have you recovered yet? You know, the thing is, though, like, I appreciate all I appreciated all of the shout outs and tags. It made me feel included. So thank you. OK, good, good, good. I wasn't sure if it was like annoying or if it was. No, I just it made me feel homage. included. I want to give respect, respect, where respects due. No, like, like I've stayed in that hotel room so many times. It's like staying. it was like staying in your apartment. That's it's, how it yeah. felt. Yeah. Like my daughter took her first steps at the Ritz Carlton in Boston. That sounds I know. so bougie. So we spent so our bougie. honeymoon on the pull-out you couch at yeah. your apartment at the Ritz-Carlton. They're so amazing there. They love they you. Are. They miss you. I miss them. I know. I need to I need to go back. I need to go back. When can we get you, like, I don't know, to come over to the East Coast? I feel I, I foresee, like, mm -hmm. the end of summer. Okay. I kind Bitch. of do, even though it's, like, the worst time to go. No, it's great. Fashion it's week. hot as fuck. Like when it was like your wedding, it was like the hottest time ever. It was so ever, hot like, and sweaty. Dabble. Well, that my wedding was ungodly hot. And we also served hot I don't clam even, chowder. I think I, no, I couldn't even eat. 
at your wedding because it was so hot. Well, that's because we also served fucking 90 million degree clam chowder, which yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Other things I want to talk about with you because you're the only person that will indulge me in this. Um, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we finally, me and Tay, she forced me to watch the special. Like it's on Disney now, her movie of the concert. Oh, no. I saw you the crying. Airstone. Oh, did I she post something? Crying. No, Taylor sent it to uh, Lo, and Lo was at my house. So she she showed me, and I was just like, oh, my God. But, yeah, I cried when I was there in person. NBA. So that's what I wanted to ask you was, was it that way in person? Was yes. it, like, to that extreme? It was, what is it about her? Like, I really, I cannot stop thinking about her. Every time I do think about her, I start hysterically crying. That's why it took me so long to watch the fucking concert. Because I was like, I can't emotionally cry for three and a half hours. I know like, why. I can't handle it. I know why because you and every other girl who feels this way or boy who feels this way who cries when they see Taylor Swift and see this I, I know the answer they see themselves in her I see parts of myself in Taylor Swift and she's out there doing it right it's like I'm not trying to be a singer so like it's not that's not the point it's like she's out there making her dreams come true Ugh. and being so vulnerable and like just owning who she is and being like open and authentic and and like saying this is who I am and you guys oh my god and you're loving it it's like it's it's a it's a it's a, a Cinderella story you it know really what I mean is. it's it, I and think, that's I think that's why for me I think the first thing is is that like I know what it feels like to have people want bad things for you do you know what I mean mm -hmm. and I feel like for her that was Kim and Kanye it just was and like yeah less Kim I think Kim probably now was like oh fuck I got really roped into that one but like for the sure. Kanye I mean and I Kanye was so big for so long I can imagine her feeling like if people are picking teams and plus Kanye's fans are I mean they're next level intense so I'm sure she really felt like the world hated her so to yeah. go from that and I know it's crazy because she's so famous and she is so powerful and you know she has been for so long and she has so many accolades but I, I, I deeply feel like she in her mind at least she really felt like she was over she was like a loser nobody liked her they thought she was a liar mm -hmm. and then for her to go from so low reg regardless if it was in, a he in her head or not to now like knowing that she's like the fucking tits yeah. ah, it's like there is no better revenge than living well There's and no she's living yeah. the wellest Yes, it's like the it's the most Cinderella -y story ever where it's just like, yeah. And then at, at just on a human level, you you can relate to certain parts of her her story. And so and I think everyone can. And, and that's why everyone she's Ugh. so open and honest about her journey and who she is. That's, that's why thing. when we see her succeed and we see her doing it, we feel emotional. Like when I watch Kim K Kardashian succeeding at things, I don't really get that emotional because right. she's just kind of just so tough businessy mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean like she's not pouring her heart out to us yes and her the soul way that Taylor Swift everything yeah and then also the way were you at the concert like non-stop googling what each song was about because I was like also the difference is when you watch at home you get to look at the lyrics I'm I'm not the kind of Swifty where I know every single song and every single lyric to every single song so reading the lyrics is wild like I was like whoa whoa this is like a whole new experience with these songs and like I was like is this about Connor Kennedy is this about John Mayer like the way I could not stop searching like I was like I need to know everything which is such a violation of privacy and also there's a world in which she could have like written this part about this date she could have written something about somebody she dated in high school that we'll never know but yeah Oh my no, god! That, that, that's not me. I I don't fall. I, I I didn't. I don't fall down that Taylor Swift hole. Oh, like so I do. You're not a loser. <laughs> no, I do that with like um, historical drama m movies. Like you know what I mean. <laughs> like I watched Napoleon, and it took me eight hours to watch Napoleon because I had to learn everything <laughs> on checking. Wikipedia about fucking Napoleon. You yeah, know what I mean. But the difference is you're actually fact checking. I'm just like reading like gossip sites. I'm like reading. I like re I reduce myself. Don't hate me. Yeah. I reduce myself to Reddit. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Dark. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm scared. ashamed. I can't even Mommy. look you in the face right Mommy, now. Help me. I'm scared. <laughs> but then also like so her and Travis are on a much over a long overdue vacation. Um, mm -hmm. The way I'm just like so happy for them all the time. I said to say at the end of. First of all, I cannot fucking wait 
for the new album with songs about even Matt Healy. Like, let's explore that. And then songs about Travis. Like, oh, I could die. And then also, I I don't I never fangirl like this. I never geek out like this. But like, I'm so excited for them to get engaged. I'm so excited. No, I know. Me too. I just love that she was in this like sexy bathing suit with him. Like, you know, he makes her feel yes. confident and great about herself because yes. you can just see it in a bathing suit choice. Like the way she used to just like fully cover up and wear like high waisted things and just like not try and be like sexy or whatever when she was with everyone else. Yep. It's like no one made her feel the way Travis makes her feel. And like, I'm so into just I'm reading into the ba the bathing suit choice, like 100 percent. What do you think they talk about? That's all I can think about. I'm okay. like, obs I, I'm obsessed. I wanna, it keeps me up at night. Yeah, I want to know this too because the fact that he commented on Love is Blind. Dead. Chelsea. Yeah. Oh my God, Chelsea. I was, I was like, oh wow. Does Taylor watch Love is Blind? Are they watching it together? Yeah, they there absolutely are. One, he is no, not watching no it on his own. Would, on his own. No, exactly. He's yeah, not watching it on his own. Like, she is the one that got him into love. So with she, Come on. she is a normal girly. Yeah, they. I think they just talk about normal fucking shit. I think he brings out the normalcy in her. Like, it's impossible for her to ever be normal because she is one of the most famous people in the world and so right. successful and has so much money and can literally do whatever she wants. So, like, it's. And everyone knows who she is. So, like, it's it's impossible to to be normal. Like, but I think he gives, he, with him, she's as close to normal as she possibly can get. Do you think she's, like, a total dork? I do. And I don't mean that in yeah. a bad way. Like, I mean, it in, it's, like, endearing. Like, it makes yes. me love her even more. 100%. Yes. Do you yes. think he's a total dork? I do. I actually, like, think that, yes. Yeah. I mean, I think I, they both just like kind of like lean into like the simple things that make them happy. What do you think? This is so perverse, but what do you, I can't stop. What do you think their sex life is like? I'm dying to know. Oh, I think they're having sex all the time. All the time. Yeah. Like I just like, you know, the beginning of a relationship, the first yes. year you're like literally all the time. All Especially the because they go through stretches where they can't see each other for a while. And right. so they get to like have all of these like the, all this reuniting and like there's uh, nothing like reuniting. You know what I mean? Those, it's like the best feeling in the world. You think she's a top or a bottom? You know what I, I mean? She, I think she's both. I think she, I think she's she does verse. it all. She's verse, I think though. she does it all. I think he's like helping her explore this side of her <laughs> because she feels comfortable with him. And I'm it's just, because of the bathing suit. I know, I know. I'm just I'm just so uncomfortable with how much I think about them. I literally I can't stop. It makes it me feel weird. Like a weird that you're perm. thinking so much about them having sex. That is fucking I wanted to make it stop. You know I bet's not happened to them. I bet a dog's not barfing on them in the middle of sex. I don't know. I kind of feel like it I feel like that could happen. <laughs> I feel like they're just, you know, I think they're just two regular kids in love <laughs> with a dog barking while they bang it out. Oh, do you think man. they vape? No, well, they definitely don't have a dog doing it. It's a cat, A. Yeah. Do you think they vape? <laughs> Hilarious! Yes. I, like, desperately want to see <laughs> a photo of Taylor Swift vaping. Uh, R.I.P. the vape. So, R.I.P. the vape. R.I.P. the vape is right. Yep. Yeah. That I tried it the sale. other day. I tried it. Someone had one, and I tried it the other day, and I was just like... Those were the days. I know. They Those were, that, they ship were has, that ship has sailed. They were the glory days. I mean, us on tour, just literally being vapes. Like, we were human vapes. <laughs> like, it's insane. You know, remember our tour guide was like, "You, I'm concerned. We were like, <laughs> shut up, Gary. Go play banjo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, literally, it was. Yeah. And the way, God, the way, the way you're just so controlled by a computer, that yeah. blows smoke. Yeah. It's so stupid. Like, is there anything more like, I felt like a monkey. You know what I mean? Just like, like, like in a lab, like being tested. I, I know. I know. I know, but I miss it. Vapes make <laughs> cigarettes look like child's play. Truly. No, 100%. 100%. Oh, man. But yeah, well, the, 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 the days are gone. No longer. 
No, I can't. I have to I have I have to worry about my health because I have to stay alive for my children. I also could never have my children catch me doing that. Like I can't that it's just it's done. I when I you know, I wish I was one of those people that could just like do it every once in a while, like when I'm when I'm out at a That's restaurant. That's not how they girl. It's not it's like once you once just that little one thing that I did the other day, that one little hit the other day that I did, I was like, I could literally see this turning into a thing again. Like, don't give this to me again. Like, um, my, so I, um, I do not vape at all. I'm completely, completely off vape. But you know, I was in St. Bart's and when you're in France, you're allowed to smoke cigarettes. It's like a loophole. No, for real though. For like, real. When Bo and I go to Europe, when yes. we didn't have the vape. Like yes. one of the times we were vapors and that was so embarrassing because that actually is fucking embarrassing to vape in Europe. Like literally they look no, at you so like American. it's so American and losery. It's loser energy to the nth degree. OK, like we're just like sitting around while everybody else is just like smoking and drinking like espressos and shit. And we're just like we're vaping with our Aperol spritzes like <laughs> shoot me. OK, but before the vape, when we would go to Europe. We would like once or twice a day, we would have cigarettes and feel so fucking cool. So cool. But it's only cool kids in Europe. In Europe. Not here. It's not cool no. in America. It's gross in America. In fact, like I, I don't even like it at all. Like even yeah. even like I don't like it. But it's just about something about being in Europe and watching all the other people do it that you're like, I, I just want to I want to feel like it's it makes me feel like nostalgic, like I'm back in time. Do yes. you know what I mean? Like yes. back in the olden days when like no one knew that smoking was bad. Exactly. Like everybody like, just like men and black to themselves. E yes. <laughs> and like and people were glamorous. People dressed up. People like had cases, gold cases for their, for their, their cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah. Like it reminds me of that. Ugh. And like gorgeous ashtrays that were like centerpieces. Yeah, not us like promoting smoking right now. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> no, we're not because it's gross no, in America. Because I and also I don't smoke, so there's that. But so when I was getting off vape, I don't think I've talked about this before. When I was getting off vape, I allowed myself. I used cigarettes to get off vape. Okay, well, when I did smoke cigarettes back in the day, yeah, like on Vanderpump Rules ten years ago, yes. I switched to gross cigarettes. To help me quit smoking. So it, it makes sense. It's yes. like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I used to be a camel crush girly. <laughs> okay. Oh, woof. <laughs> camel. Oh, my God. Yeah, those were the days. And then I, <laughs> I, I switched to American Spirit in order to help me quit because American Spirit is so fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's in my opinion. Bad. It's terrible. Um, so, God. But no, nothing's gross than Newports. Like, if you smoke Newports, I straight up judge you to fail. I don't think, have I, have I ever tried that? I don't know. I actually haven't even. That's how disgusting I think Newports are. Okay. Parliaments are for, like, club slots. Okay, wait. I, oh, my God, I didn't know this. I've only tried well, this, those this two. This is my opinion. This oh, okay. Opinion. Camel crushes are for hippies turned naughty. Okay. I've never been a hippie. Camels are for hippies. I learned okay. in college. Marlboro lights are for, like, you know, your average just cool girl. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, no. Mar Mar like Marlboro Marble. lights, they had the menthol ones. I would, those two. Girl, I, I fucked with get those. Get out of here with your menthols. I just liked the the feel, the cold feeling. <laughs> Back in the day. That's the what it was, right? feeling of just fiberglass just, you know, settling in your body. This is horrible. <laughs> and I will never forget the moment that I started smoking. I will never forget it because I was always so... Tell your so, story. I'll tell my I story. Was you tell your story. so anti-smoking. Like, growing up, my mom and my parents instilled that in me. Like, in high school, you could not have tempted me. Like, anytime yeah. I was offered it, I declined. It wasn't even a question. Then I start working at Sir... I become friends with Katie and Kristen. Fucking Katie made you smoke cranberry. We crushes. go on a trip. We go on a road no, trip. No, sorry, not Katie. Kristen. Just we go on a road trip, us three, to Park City. This is before Vanderpump Rules. We go on a road trip to Park City, and I was constipated. <laughs> okay. That'll do it. And we were stopped in a casino. Like I think we stopped in Vegas on the way there. And they were like, if you want to poop, you should just smoke a cigarette. And I'm like, no, I'm like completely anti smoking I've been like that my whole like no and they're like it will make you poop like you are in pain and I'm like right. we okay, literally I'm doing are this for the poop. You. yes like I'm doing this for the poop and then I never stopped yep I know and I, I and I never well I didn't stop until I stopped I think I smoked for like five years four years four or five years and, really and I'm a fucking lesbian what a waste of my life that's a that's so I was lame. working at a bakery 
in high school. High school. Actually, that's a lie. I know the first time I smoked a cigarette. Oh, no. It was him. It was him. And we were at a party and he was like, you smoke cigarettes? And I was like, you know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> and he gave me one. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know, because they're disgusting. Yeah. And then, um, but I wanted to be cool. And then I, the, the, I can't believe I'm telling the story. Taste probably going to cut this out. Um, and then I remember I went um, to West Virginia for Habitat for Humanity. Because we were like building roofs and stuff for yeah. people who were underprivileged. Yes. Yes. And uh, we were all staying together at this like, at like school and sleeping bags on the floor. And so after we'd spent all like day building roofs and eating like fucking bologna sandwiches, we would like, some of us would like sneak away and go to this uh, fucking pay phone. And like we would split like one cigarette between like seven people. And Kate Bosworth was there. And I wanted <laughs> to be friends with back her. To Kate. Always comes back. And so I was like, I I smoke cigarettes again. Such a loser. I'm such a loser. So anyway, but so I quit vaping, but I had quit smoking for like a while. And then I randomly got into vaping. I was like done. So stupid. So anyway, I quit with a cigarette. But when I was in my quitting with a cigarette phase, the thing is, the reason I say I quit vaping with a cigarette is because cigarette smoking, especially in America, it's it's mortifying. Like, I feel Mm -hmm. dirty and smelly and embarrassed and shamed and judged. So it's like the craving comes and just saying to myself, you're allowed. Like, see, that's the thing with a vape. It's sneaky and underhanded and conniving. And I love those qualities. I want to be that. I'm bad, you know? So like, I'm like in the closet, like nothing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and you can't do that with a cigarette. So I um, I told myself I'm allowed in my brain because if I don't say I'm allowed in my brain, I'm going to keep buying vapes and never be able to break this habit. So I'd have like an emergency yeah. stash of cigarettes and then I'd be like, I don't fucking want to. Like, yuck. So I was at my sister and brother-in-law's and I was like, I, I need to vape, but I can't. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. So I smoked a cigarette and my nephew came downstairs. He might as well have seen me and Taylor having sex in the corner. He was so horrified. He was like, <gasps> smoking and I was like I love that he'll never I love me love again that that's their response no I I hope that <gasps> it kids was like everywhere- he saw me in the corner like stabbing like a bunny rabbit to death it was like yeah. he was horrified disgusted full of judgment and no more love for me and I was like wow wow I can oh. never fucking do that again it worked like a charm so Wow, that's I such know. good news for parents yeah. everywhere, though. Yeah, that like that's that's what kids their opinions on smoking is. So like that makes me feel better. And that, then like, they go my smoke kids- computers. So you know what? Just All right. everybody live your go smoke yeah. a battery. It's ridiculous. Yeah, good point. Good point. <laughs> anyway, well, I did not have that on my bingo card. That conversation, but here we are. No. <laughs> Living our authentic lives. Lives. <laughs> Telling our stories. <laughs> Making it about us. <laughs> Go check out Stassi's new podcast. It's just called Stassi. Stassi. Go listen to Stassi. <laughs> Go listen. Do you listen to Go Stassi? Listen to I listen Stassi. to Stassi. Stassi, oh, I die for her. I listen to Stassi all the time. Yeah. When mm-hmm. does Stassi come out? Same time? Same week? Same day? Wednesdays uh, yeah that same same all that Wednesdays same for all that and, and if now, you want to watch it ooh. you can go to patreon.com slash Stasi. I love that I'm obsessed with that and then also guys officially on Dear Media but Loki has been for like a while but Loki has been <laughs> but like here I am world Dear Media oh I love it so much Stasi. I love you love you too we'll start you. planning your photo shoot let's do it I'm, I'm so here for it this is like the perfect reason to get my ass out to LA and mm-hmm. I really like now I'm excited about it before I was nervous about it but now mm-hmm. I'm, I'm fucking psyched we'll figure something out let's do I'm something that hasn't been done before please please okay. I love you love you too bye you guys that is it for us make sure to follow Stassi at Stassi Schroeder on the gram don't forget she has a new podcast called Stassi So make sure to subscribe and listen every Wednesday. Don't forget, I always say it. Make sure to rate, review, and subscribe. Until next week, bye girl, bye.